We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome. So this morning I wake up to, and I was flooded with emails for people suggesting I watch this video. So I decided to click on the video and the title of it was Durian Rider Banned, 27 million views deleted with 930 videos. At the very end of this title it says why with a question mark. And if you actually decide to click on this video, he starts to give his explanation of why he thinks his YouTube account was deleted. And, and at first he starts accusing me of many different things. And then he starts to insinuate that I paid YouTube big dollars to cut his YouTube account out. As if I would have the time to do something like this. And if you start to read all the comments on this video, um, a lot of them are, are actually in support of us. Actually, the majority. Well, for now, I actually screenshot them all, so I have them. But here, I'm going to read a couple for you, just so you can kind of see what's going on here. It's quite hilarious. And someone writes, Harley, you coconut. You deleted your Google Plus account along with your YouTube account, your darn self. It's your own fault. And then someone else writes, there's like five comments in regards to Google Plus accounts to where if you don't unlink your YouTube account first, obviously, then if you delete your Google Plus account, your YouTube account gets eliminated. And this one guy was saying, yeah, this happened to me. And since the inception of YouTube, I lost all my videos from like years and years ago. And I was so upset about it. And then if you continue to read, it's kind of interesting where the community is with all this. Someone writes, you violated, you violated the terms of service. Exactly what Stinbeck said. I just looked. Same thing happened to the raw food world a while back, I remember. They had to get a lawyer for it. This is all true. Now he just follows the rules of YouTube, which I do. YouTube is a corporation, so get used to it and follow the rules. If you need any advice about that, you should talk to Mr. Matt Monarch. And then someone else writes, I doubt it was a conspiracy. Let's be honest, Harley pissed off a lot of people. A lot of people. Plus he posted a lot of videos of animals being killed to provide the steaks some people insist are nutritionally necessary, which YouTube frowns on, regardless of the argument the video is making. My guess is there was a moment where the proverbial last drop of water tipped the bucket over, and YouTube decided just to move on. Look, I, I understand we don't need to be into animal protein, but over 80% of Americans in the world eat animal protein. We have to have some sort of respect for people. And this is just harming this madness. It's harming the community, the raw foods community. And then real quickly, one last comment before we move on. Karma for banning so many people from your old channel. You would ban anyone that argued with you, mate. You banned me after just one post I made. Got to learn to take what you give. And on this video, there are more people in support of us than him. And he's always, they're always talking, the 801010ers, about how we, we delete comments and sometimes block people when they use profanity or just like are ruthless. And it's obvious here that this is happening on an ongoing basis within their community. After we call to do a major unification and we got a majority of consensus amongst all the leaders of the raw foods movement, someone goes ahead and deletes their YouTube account and blames me for it. As if I have the time to even look at something like that. And the support that happened in this, this video of us wanting to unite, I have a list of all the people, all the leaders who are on board and just love this message. By the way, this video has, over had, has had over 300 comments and people are just loving this consensus here. So people that are on board, we have Dan the Life Regenerator was the first to comment. 
We've got Fully Raw Christina, Christina Bugaram, Megan Elizabeth from Easy To Be Raw, who has an amazing channel, Penny Shelton, Marcus Rothkrantz, John Kohler, Paul Neeson, the Durian King, Daniel Vitalis, D Daniel Vitalis, Dara Dubinet, Annie Fio, Ka Sundance, Robin Law, Girl on Raw, Gabrielle Brick, Gilmo Media, which is, you know, Raw Man and Green Girl, The Hot Rocks Company, Sarah Nolan, who is the Raw Food Mum, Diane Barron, who's an NVC specialist, Sarah Barba, Barber, who's a raw food educator in the UK, Raw Vegan Power, Shakaya Breeze from Earth Empress TV, the photographer Rafali Yours, and the list just goes on and on and on. We're all trying to come together and unite and change the world by helping other people. I mean, this is what raw foods is all about, right? I mean, there's this whole entire programming and conspiracy which makes people herd like and what we're trying to do is make people healthier, happier, and more alive, pulling them and breaking them out of these programs. And maybe for us, the raw food leaders, it was extremely easy for us to transition to a raw food diet. But for other people, it's hard to improve their diets. They just, they just can't do it. They try with all their might and they just can't. They can't do it. And then we have this 80-10-10 community who is completely programmed, who has no sympathy whatsoever, no mercy, and no human ethics, and they're halting our progress. They're making us look bad. They are hurting the raw foods community. There's no point in conquering the body or the animalistic desires when you still retain the desires in the mind. It's almost like this cancer that just needs to be dealt with. <sighs> I'm the one who took down their YouTube channel. Again, I have a beautiful wife, a beautiful da daughter, a beautiful family, a beautiful house. I'm alive. I'm happy to be alive. I don't care about this sort of thing. The raw foods community is trying to unite. And here's someone trying to blame someone else in the raw foods community for deleting their own account instead of like making a stand and standing up and uniting with everybody else. Durian Rider, we love you, but you've just taken it too far. The consensus of the raw foods community is to stop this. We want to come together and I'm hoping that somehow, some way, you guys, something just clicks in there. Just click. Like, is it even possible? Just wishful thinking? <sighs> okay, that was a lot. Our video from yesterday of uniting the raw food leaders speaks for itself. Every single raw food leader has posted on there in support. So I think... On behalf of the raw foods community, it's time to unite and come together and stop this nonsense. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the raw food world.